You have the Samsung Galaxy A53 5G. It looks like this very cool triple window for the cameras. And you've had it for a while and you're wondering if there's any way to make it go faster. So the answer is yes, there's two ways. One is very easy. You should do uh, maintenance mode. And then one's a little bit more difficult where we're going to get inside the developer options of the phone, change how the phone works, and you will see with your own eyes because I'm going to compare it to this Samsung Galaxy S10e, and you'll see with your own eyes that what we do, the few changes that we make on the A53, it will run quicker and snappier. So let's get started. So most people already know to go into settings and every once in a while to go down to your battery and device care and you're going to hit, depending on how much you use your phone, you're going to be able to hit optimize if you've got some apps that need to be closed or some memory. You can always hit storage and clear out trash. And you can always go to memory and ask it to uh, just not, you know, I have 575, almost 600 megabytes of apps not being 655. Apps not recently used. So I'll go ahead and hit that. See how those apps that need to be cleared out. So now your phone will run just a degree faster. So that's the easy one. Let's do the more difficult one. So what I'm going to show you is called developer options and it's going to feel like hacking your phone. It's not, it's just changing a few things and then I'll change them. I'll compare it to the S10 E and then stick around. I'll show you how to turn them off if you don't like how your phone is running. So let's jump in. So what we're going to do, I'm going to turn off Wi-Fi to make things easier for me and then we're going to go to settings again jump into settings you're going to want to scroll all the way down to about phone inside of about phone hit software information and then inside software information you want to see this build number when you see build number touch it seven times one two three four you should have this message coming up five six seven and it should say developer mode has been turned on I'm not going to do installs right now. So after the two things, if you, if you don't see developer mode has already been turned on, um, it means, it, well, I guess it, it gives you a warning if you've already turned it on In some other phones, it doesn't do anything else. So anyway, let's skip that. All right, let's get out of this, go back to settings. And now you'll see that when you scroll all the way down inside your settings, there's now a new option, developer options, underneath about phone. So touch developer options. By default, it's on. I'm going to turn it off real quick so we can see how important it is to not accidentally touch other things inside developer options. Allow development settings. These settings are intended for development use only. They can cause your device and the applications on it to break or misbehave. Okay. We want it on. So... Don't accidentally touch anything. If you accidentally touch anything, just back up or press cancel. Okay, but we're going to, I have to give that warning because we're going to scroll way, way down. And we're going to be touching the screen a lot. We are looking, there's input. We're looking for something called drawing. So you should see drawing on your phone here. And we're looking for three settings called Windows Animation Scale, Transition, and Animator Duration Scale. So keep in mind, or take a picture with your mind, that there, the default is 1x. Okay, so touch it and we're going to change it. Some people say make your phone run a little bit faster by changing it to 0.5. The smaller the number, the quicker it runs. Definitely don't change it to the bigger number. I like to run my phones with the animations off. Transition animation off. Animated duration scale off. Okay, and we're done. That's it. That's all you have to change. Let's go back to the home screen and now let's compare. All I'm going to do is touch phone call at the same time. Okay, did you see that? Do it one more time so you can see. Phone call. This one that we changed the options blinks on. It's just on. This one grows out of the icon and then melts back into the icon. Let's close that up. Let's do messenger. On and ready to go. This one grows. Okay, let's close it. Let's do camera one more. Blinks right on, ready to go. This one kind of grows open out of its icon, and let's close it one more time. Blinks off, ready to go. So if you're someone who makes a lot of phone calls, sends messages, makes videos, uploads videos, you're switching back and forth between your apps, you your phone is going to feel quicker, snappier. It is going to run faster. So if that's all you need, I appreciate you watching. Please like, please subscribe. Leave in the comments if you've made those changes and you like how your phone runs. 
Now, let's go back into developer options and change them in case you don't like how it runs. So let's go into settings, hit settings again, go all the way to the bottom, let's go to developer options. Let's scroll for a while without accidentally touching anything. And we're looking for input and then drawing right underneath. And then the turn it back on, remember the default is one. Set it back to one at Windows Animation Scale. Transition Animation Scale back to one. Transition Animator Duration Scale back to one. I'm going to double check one, one, and one, and now we're done. Now, if you're nervous about somebody getting into your phone and messing with it, or you accidentally touching it, just come over here and turn the developer options off. If you go back to now your settings, the, it's not, it disappears under phone. So you have to go through the process of touching build number seven times to turn them back on. All right, that is it. If this has helped you, please like, please subscribe. Thank you for watching.